Hi and thanks for joining me. In this video we're going to cover some of the new features that you're going to find in the new Google Sites. Um, this is not yet a feature that's available in Google Apps for Education but it will be very soon I hope. And so uh, just to give you a quick run through it's now going to be available in Google Drive. You'll no longer have to go to sites.google.com to create a site although you will be able to but you now have the ability to access Google Sites from Google Drive. So if you click on the New button and go to More, you'll see an option to create a Google Site right inside Drive right here. So if I just click on Google Sites, it takes me into my page so I can create my new site. And as you see when this opens up, it's going to be drastically different from what you're used to with Google Sites. So you get a nice clear picture of what your page is going to look like and then over here on the sidebar you'll see that all of our tools to add text media whatever we're going to add to our site have been moved over to the side now to start off with the header has changed so that you can add an image or just right here by clicking on change image and I'm going to add something quick they do give you a gallery to use so we're just going to use something here from their gallery to get started and you just click select and you'll notice right here it says adjusting for readability so the new Google Sites has been set up so that as you add a page title then any text that's entered into the page title is set up so that the photo behind it has adjusted so that your title is easier to read and is more readable to the viewer depending on what device they're using. If you want to turn off the readability adjustment you just click this icon right here and it takes your photo back to the way it was. But as I said this is something that you want to leave on and play with and just kind of get used to and if you don't like your title where it is you can click on this little icon right here and move your title around on the header as you want if you click on this little icon right here then you'll be able to adjust the settings on your title such as the pre-formatting the alignment and you can also insert a link in your header or you can delete the header and start over and you also have this resize bar so that you can resize your title as you see fit over here at the bottom you can also change your image if you decide you want to change it later or you can reset your default settings and you can change the header type by clicking this so that it's either a banner as we see here or you can just do a title only which is a new feature that they've just added within the past few weeks but I'm going to change that back to banner so we can leave it alone and then when you're ready to add content to your site all you have to do is just go over here to the right as I've said before we can quickly add a text box just by clicking on the text box icon one pops up and we can add content to our page so I'm going to say, I'm going to add a section for tutorial videos and we'll drop down and give a little explanation. And then we can resize this as we want and move it around and as you move text boxes around the page or images around the page you'll see that it'll snap to a grid and I'm going to move this over and leave a little bit of room to put an image next to it. You can also change the section background by clicking on this palette and you can change the color emphasis so that as you add more text sections to your page each one will have its own little emphasis of color behind it so it sets it off from the rest or you can add an image to that background if you'd like to. I'm just going to make this a little blue background and then I'm going to add an image to this and you'll see that the layout of this is very easy to use drag and drop functionality it makes it so much easier to use. I'm going to grab a picture from my drive and I'm just going to use this little avatar picture here. When you add images to your site if you need to resize it just resize it as you see fit and see here I've actually cropped out part of my image and if I want to keep the size of that image I can just click on this uncrop icon and it fixes that for me if I do want to crop it I do have a cropping tool where I can uh, change the the cropping and then when I'm done I just click the check mark and then I'm going to move him over here where I want and snap him to the grid and we're ready to move on 
To add another text box is very easy. You just click the text box icon and it just moves down the page. And if I want this text box to be next to the other one, I can. Just going to add some text to that. We'll resize it a little bit. And I'm going to move this right up here and snap it to the grid next to my previous text box. And of course I want this to be centered so I'll click on my centering tool and center my title and we can move on add another image and you can see our page is starting to take shape we're just going to throw some random images in here just to kind of fill this out so you can get an idea for how it works and use my uncrop tool make that a little bit smaller so it's the same size as the rest and move it over. And so you can see it's very easy for the page to take shape. If I want to add links to this, all I have to do is highlight my text, click the link icon, and I can quickly add in any links that I want to and apply them. And as with the old Google Sites, if you want to embed a URL, you can do that. Um, you can upload files, you can insert files from Drive, or you can insert a Drive folder, which I like to do because you can insert a Drive folder, share the rights to that folder so that anyone with the link can view, and then any documents that you want to share out on your website, you just put them in that folder on Google Drive and it makes it so much easier to do. Plus you can have a photo gallery that way. Uh, we can add YouTube videos, so if I want to embed one of my YouTube videos on the page, I can do that as well. I'm going to put my promo video on there. And you can see here you also have the ability to resize and change these as you want. You can have it set up so that when you click on the settings icon, you can hide the controls, you can change the functionality of the video. Um, you can change the progress bar color and you can also allow full screen viewing or turn that option off and then click done when you've got your video the way you want it and again everything is drag and drop so if I want to put that on this bar right up here I can put it there with the rest of my text if I want to but I'm going to move that back down here and so I can have a whole section devoted to videos if I want it to or I can put that on a new page because if we go up to the top of the screen here on the right we also have a pages option where we can add new pages. You just click on add page, add the page name, and hit done. And it takes us into the editor so we can go on. And you'll notice that all your pages will start to take shape at the top of our header. And you'll see a little list of the pages that you've created. If you want to jump back to the previous one that you're editing, just click on it. And you can continue. If I'm going to jump back over here and we're going to add a couple of things to this page just so we can see what it looks like. Uh, we'll go back to the insert menu. So it's, it's very easy to use. We can put a bunch of tutorial videos on here if we want to. Put them all side by side and just have a gallery of YouTube videos that our viewers can watch. And it's very simple to do. and looks like I need to reshape that one a little bit and you can see that as you as you're working um, it does give, give you alignment guides so that you can make sure everything is set up properly and then finally on the last section up here we have our themes and so if you want to pick out a color theme or a font style you can do that as well um, just add a little emphasis to your page and then when you're done if you want to see what your page looks like to the public you can go up to the top and just click on the eye and when we click on that preview icon it takes us into a mode where it takes away all our tools and then now we can see as we scroll through the page it's just got a nice flow to it and we can flip back over to our tutorial page see how that looks to the viewer scroll down through it and we can go to the bottom down here we can see what it looks like on a large screen like a computer versus a tablet or how it looked to the viewer if they were looking at it on a mobile device such as a phone. So 
all these tools are very cool, very slick. Something that you'll see very soon when the new Google Sites is released to Google Apps for Education. And I look forward to putting out a new video later on once all the functions have been added. So keep your eyes on thetechiecoach.com for that article as it comes out. And thanks for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.